Lisa from Life and Layout, and today I have our February monthly celebration, and of course I am doing Valentine's Day. I hope everyone had a happy Valentine's Day yesterday. I am actually using a, not really a sketch, but um, the Simple Cuts Creations, and I will leave her link below. She does four one-page layouts. And what I did was I used the information that she has to create two two-page layouts. So, like I said, I'll link it below. I don't want to give out all the information in regards to how to cut things out because I feel like those are her creative juices and her creative vibe and I don't want to take that from her. So go over to her website or over to her YouTube channel. Check her out. She's amazing, very talented, and she has lots of inspiration on her YouTube channel. So basically what she does is she takes four cardstock pieces, guts the uh, centers of them out, cuts those pieces down, and then uses anywhere from four to six pieces of pattern paper to create the background as well as the layered elements of the page. So that's what I'm doing now, just cutting everything out. And I actually realized right there that I had messed up because I wanted to use this pattern paper here with the hearts and the arrows on it as background paper. I mean, I should have cut those out in <clears throat> down to a, I think it's 11 and a half by 11 and a half. So, but it's okay. I ended up working it all out and um, I change it up mine a little bit um, because she does a lot of layouts that are only have one or two photos, which is perfectly fine. I tend to use a lot more photos on my layouts just because I have a lot more photos. No right or wrong way, no better or worse way, just the way we do things. So I, there was some that I used. I didn't use as much pattern paper as she did, just simply because I have more photos. So once you get everything cut out, and what she does is when she gives you the, the measurements to cut out, she also tells you what pile to put it in, and then that's where you figure out how to start putting your pieces of paper together. So this is what I'm doing here. Is I These are the pieces that were for pile number one, and I am trying to figure out what works best for the photos that I'm going to be using, which are these two gorgeous photos of my little ones. Their mom, for Valentine's Day last year, made these shirts for them, and they are so stinking cute. The shirts say, all you need is love, and then what they love. So the youngest one says, all you need is love and Transformers, and the oldest one says, all you need is love and Mario, and then on the back, she was able to put the logo for both of those characters. She is an amazing, amazing talent. Like I know I have tried to use vinyl, heat transfer vinyl. It's a pain for me to do. I always get frustrated with it, but she does an amazing job every time that she's made any shirts for them. And so I want to give her props for that. So I wanted to showcase that in, in these cute shirts that she was able to make for them. So <clears throat> what I decided to do was I'm going to use this hickory smoke to distress the edges of my paper. And I cut my photos down to four by four just so that I can make sure that I can get it on that red piece of paper. And it actually ended up being a little bit smaller. I probably could have gone a little bigger with them, but it works out perfectly fine. I just trim up that red piece of paper and the photos fit on there perfectly. And then I'm going to use that big chunk underneath the photos to add my title. <clears throat> so what I'm doing is just building the pages first and then embellishing them. And that's what she does as well on her, on the Simple Cuts Creations layout. She builds all the pages together and then puts all the embellishments on at the end. And 
this is one way to knock out a ton of photos. I am not a big fan of holidays, sc scrapbooking holidays, because I just feel like it's just repetitive. Every year we have Valentine's Day, every year we have Christmas. And so this is something that I want to document it because I want to have it documented, but I don't want to um, spend a lot of time documenting it and because I feel like I'm going to be doing this every year. So why do I need to do that? So this is actually going to end up being a little bit different. So this photos that I'm using here are of when Kevin and I went to Zoom Air, which is a local zip lining place here in Central Florida, and I had tons of photos. And so I actually end up using the card that he gave me, which was so sweet when he gave me the card and I opened it. He said, um, I bought this card specifically because I, I figured you could use the front of it, which is like this big wood veneer piece on in scrapbooking and I was like that's so sweet so I definitely had to include the card with on this layout but with the card and the photos I didn't have enough room on a two-page layout so and I then I also had these just these two photos of the little ones in their shirts so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the card and then just a, a picture of us together right before we went into the zip lining place and then that's going to be one page. And then the next page is going to be us at the zip lining place. So they're going to sit back to back in the layouts or in my albums. So you'll see here, this is the one of the first set of pages. So they're going to sit back to back. So they'll, it'll be like, it's a single, it really is a single page with just the boys and then a single page of just me and him with the card and then the rest of the photos of us in the at the zoom air which is these photos here so I want to apologize for my voice I I am battling strep throat I actually got it um four days before I'm recording this video or recording this voiceover and it hit me so bad. It was just horrible. I was out, like completely out, down and out. Um, high fever, couldn't eat anything, couldn't drink anything. It was crazy. Uh, so, but I wanted to get this video up because Valentine's Day is in the middle of the month. Got to get it up around that time. I also didn't want to disappoint the other ladies in, in this group that are doing the monthly celebration with me. I wanted to make sure that I could get my video up as well. So you'll have to d just forgive my voice for this video. I try not to do it with, with crazy scratchy voices, but I wanted to get this video up. So as you can see here, that's the base of that, the second layout there. And I did not add a lot of embellishments or a lot of extra paper to it, just simply because there's a total of five photos on one side of the layout and two photos on the other and I didn't want to overwhelm it with so much paper as well as that background paper was so busy that I felt like it did provide a lot of texture and embellishments or what's the right word for that uh, interest let's go with interest it provides a lot of interest to that background so this is where I'm going to start embellishing this this left side of the two page layout with the little ones. So I use these stickers, all of these embellishments I got from Tuesday morning this year. I, <clears throat> I went in there looking for a paper pad that I could use and I didn't find anything that I liked. Everything was very over the top girly and very pinks, way more pinks than reds. And that's just wasn't, doesn't work for me and scrapbooking boys. So I came back and I looked through my stash and I found this paper pad that I purchased from Hobby Lobby when it was on clearance. It's from Simple Stories. It's called Love and Adore. And I was able to use that perfectly fine. And it has more offset colors. I really like the blacks that are in it because it really stands out and really kind of brings in more of a boy feel than than it does than <clears throat> than a lot of the pinks do. So I'm adding these wood veneer to the second page 
it says big adventure on the right hand side it says everyday love on the left hand side and then adding in that xoxo and the little wood button with the pink heart on it i think that is so stinking cute and as well as this fun thickers that are in these like fun heart shapes so then this is where um so at this point i am actually this is on uh, about two days after I had strep throat and I needed to get the layouts done. And so my mind was definitely not there. So this is where I'm, whew, it's going to get interesting right here. So I add this rosette, which I love these rosettes. They're so stinking cute. They're like heart shaped rosettes. So cute. So here it goes. I wanted to put the title, My Valentine. I didn't have enough room on the left-hand side, so I was like, oh, let me put it on the picture. And then that didn't work because it kind of got lost. So then I had the great idea, great idea, to cut out a circle in yellow and put it on there. And so I'm going to add it. Like, that does not work. So then I was like, well, maybe I'll add it to the left-hand side. Didn't work either. So then I was like, let's just, just, I'm going to get rid of that yellow piece altogether. And I added this bigger yellow piece, added the val my Valentine to it, and then trimmed it down so that it does work perfectly. And I really like that the way that my, the, the descending of the uh, Y in the my goes into the word Valentine. I think it works perfectly there. So I tuck it under that rosette, and I like the way that that turned out. So... But yeah, it took me, I did end up cutting a lot of that out because I don't know what I was thinking with several of those pieces of paper that I was using. So then this piece here that I just added, it's a little white piece that says happy day and then it has like some shredded paper underneath it, which I think is so cute. I added that right underneath the picture of me and then I added some gold uh, puffy hearts to the title as well. And that's about it for this layout. The... It came together so quickly because I used Simple Cut Creations, uh, her designs in regards to this. And I'm just going to add my journaling to this page. And unfortunately, my journaling for the um, other page got cut off, but you will see it in the close-ups at the end of the video. So definitely go check out all of the other ladies, I know that their videos are going to be amazing. They do, they did an amazing job last month, and I'm sure that they do an amazing job this month as well. We have lots of February celebrations for you guys, so I am sure that you will enjoy all of those. If you enjoyed this video, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, and I hope that you enjoyed it even though you had to deal with my voice. If you want to see more double page layouts, make sure you hit that subscribe button because that's all I do on this channel. And I hope everyone has a scrappy day. Thanks for watching.